Hey guys, I am Madhuri Trivedi and I am Shweta and we are here to talk about Mobile World Congress 2017. Every year tech giants gather in a city and display or as Shweta says launch their smartphones. This year the event began with some of the popular brands coming up with their gadgets. So LG launched G6, Motorola launched Moto G5 and Moto G5 Plus. But Shweta, what caught your attention this year? Honestly, for me, there were two brands that caught my attention. One is Nokia and one is Blackberry. Especially uh, given the fact that uh, both these brands practically ruled the market once upon a time and uh, once Android kicked in, both these brands were outdated. So yeah, that was the highlight for me. Okay, yeah, I mean that solid Nokia 3310 is back. And you remember how we used to joke about that kabhi na tootne wala quality of Nokia? Like, though I like color splashes, but what's new in this? Like this time, it's, what's new? Well, Nokia has basically repackaged this 3310. Just um, begin with, it has introduced a 2MP camera, which is missing in the earlier. Camera one. in that handheld. Yeah. Nice. Apart from that, it has also introduced external memory storage. It's, you know, like offering 32 GB external storage where micro SD, which is new. Also, the fact that Nokia 3310 is offering uh, 2 GB RAM, which is sort of unique given uh, the kind of phone that Nokia 3310 is. So, yeah, that is interesting. That's pretty interesting. So, and what about battery and all? Well, uh, as far as battery is concerned, it's offering a 1200 mAh. Actually, well, let's not talk about battery. It's Nokia. It lasts forever. Well, like, true. forever. And what about Nokia <laughs> smartphones? Well, uh, for that matter, Nokia has launched three smartphones. Nokia 3, Nokia 5, Nokia 6. Nokia 6 uh, is one phone that uh, the company launched in China. And we were not sure if the company would launch it uh, across the globe. But yeah, it did launch it. And I must say that I'm decently impressed. I mean, uh, all the three phones run on Android Nougat 7.0. Uh, they offer... Wait, wait, wait. Nokia had its own OS, right? Yeah. It used if to I'm run not on... wrong. No, no, no. Absolutely. Nokia used to run... Nokia phones used to run on Symbian OS. Okay. So it switched on uh, Android. Yeah, because, you know, obviously Android is dominating the market. And, uh, yeah, th there's some Blackberry phone as well, right? And it's on Android as well. I, I just read it somewhere. Yeah, so Blackberry launched, uh, Blackberry basically made a comeback with Key One. And it's, you know, it's the combination of features that it's offering. It's really interesting and unique. And for me, it's uh, quite a keeper, I would say. You know, um, you know, I was going, uh, reading through a lot of stuff and I uh, came across Blackberry Key One. And uh, what caught my eye was the fact that it was offering 2 TB external storage, which is like humongous. 2 TB? Like, explain me about 2TB. 2TB. Okay, so, 2TB uh, is uh, 1024 GB. I mean, you can go on downloading movies and you will never run out of space. That's nice. You know, it's unique and I like it. It's like, 2TB is too much. Well, that thing. Yes, absolutely. And what else about Blackberry? Like, it has its QWERTY keypad again or what? It, it, it is also... Uh, touch screen. So uh, in this phone they are offering a combination of QWERTY keypad and touch screen which is uh, quite an interesting combination of course uh, given that uh, touch screen is in Vogue and Blackberry is known for its QWERTY keypad so that's there. Apart from that uh, Blackberry is also offering its security features you know we have uh, our apprehensions when it comes to Android because it's not as secure as uh, perhaps iOS but with Blackberry offering its original security system I think we can just say goodbye to all our uh, buddies and stuff when it comes to hacking and stuff. I think it's nice, like Blackberry and Nokia coming back. It's like it's a news news thing. Absolutely, and you know what? Uh, apart from this, uh, Blackberry is also offering uh, the latest version of Android Nougat, that is 7.1. So far, now we are impressed with the features these two phones are offering. But we'll let you know more once we get our hands on them. Till then, stay tuned to Inute.com.